Hey guys, Jonathan here at Night Knowledge. Everspace 2 is a single player spaceship shooter with gorgeous graphics, tons of loot, RPG elements, mining, trading, and of course dogfighting. In today's video, I want to show you what you can expect in this demo and why you might be interested in trying it yourself. Let's get started. So we'll start a new game. And uh, once again, this is just the demo, but it's qu quite fleshed out for just being a demo. Um, you'll get to choose your starting ship, whether it's a Sentinel, which has uh, the cloak and an EMP generator, an Interceptor, which is more of a fighter, attack fighter, which has weapon overdrive, kind of boosts your DPS, uh, an energy boost and a teleporter. And finally, the Assault Fighter, which has uh, another weapon overdrive and an EMP generator. That will short circuit some uh, uh, enemy planes. So I'm going to use the um, Assault Fighter for this one. And I believe here it shows you your inventory. So it shows you the guns, the, the guns that you'll start off with. Each type of vessel will have its own starting uh, weapons. Uh, we have secondary weapons of missiles and mines. We also got consumables to heal ourselves. Uh, this will give us more energy because uh, you don't have unlimited uh, bullets or energy bolts. It's, it's based off energy, so so you'll have to wait uh, to recharge. But you'll see as as we play. And then there's modules stuff like um, having more. I believe that's shield and how fast it recharges. No, that's that, that's your shield. So this energy. So that's that's kind of like your ammo. Uh, plating. That's armor your sensors to see how far away you can see loot and stuff like that and thrusters so let's just get right into the game but before we do that uh it's not available management and uh map i believe management is more about uh the stuff you'll be able to unlock as you progress in the game so that's missions nothing here right now so let's just launch and it just boots you straight into the game there's an outlaw drone, one right there. What's that one? That's far, that's farther away. Oh. One ship down. Oh, we have uh, turrets. As you can see, I can, you can strafe. Two, gotta watch out. And I, and I ran out of energy, so that's why I couldn't shoot. Go. I was using a different gun there. I think that was kind of like a Goss rifle. So there's an outlaw drone right there. Ah, there we go. Something shooting me. I just used my EMP right there. Okay, there's something. Oh, there's a bad guy. And see, he's he's been damaged by the EMP. I have to shoot. There we go. Still an enemy around here. But he's kind of far away, right? Outlaw. Yeah, he's far away. Now, there are some stuff. There's some loot for me to pick up. We can orient ourselves. Right and left. So if, if we don't like it this way, we can go this way. We can fly this way instead if we want. Here's some loot. A wiring kit. I'm going to pick that up. And here's the uh, mining aspect of the game. Let's switch my guns. That's some iron. Okay. Looks like some copper deposits right there. These things uh, you, can, you can sell. I don't know in the final game whether they intend on uh, what's it actually whether you'll be able to craft. I, I re really would like to see crafting in, in this game. So we have an ancient damage glyph. So had I gone to pick that up, I would have done more damage. And here's some scrap metal as well. There's something over here, it looks like. There's a shipwreck over here. So you got the boost. Oh, there's some enemies close by. Or repairing. It's Outlaw Scout. There's another one, 2,000 miles away. Outlaw Bomb Thrower. Okay, let's, let's take a look at this shipwreck. And it had some loot. It had a worker drone. It had some credits. That's the money in this game. And liquor. 
So, we'll take that, and let's see if we can kill that outlaw that's close by without hitting. There we go. Using some sort of weapon that charges right now. There we go, that guy's dead. That. We'll take the loot. There's another madcap. You'll notice that after I kill this guy, So, we have three guns right now, and um, I think this gun right here is good against shields, which it has no shields right now. It's gonna... see? It has a little uh, ejection thing. There we go, we leveled up. So right now leveling up adds to your stats, but, and, and it should do something in terms of like maybe perks that you can select. But uh, right now in this demo, there's there's no perk system. Oh, there's something right there. Missile. There we go. <coughs> Let's pick up that scrap metal. Okay, so something over here. There's another shipwreck. Let's uh, orient ourselves. There we go. Oh, there's something. Oh, there's a missile. What? Oh no. Oh damn. Okay. Anyways, let's let's go to the shipwreck. See what's here. Oh damn. There's some drones. There we go. Missile away. Oh, missile missed. Yes. Let's go back here. Check out the shipwreck here. Got some more credits. And we got a new weapon. So let's just take a look at actually the weapons that we have. Uh, so the coil gun, which I think I've been using, it, it tells you the DPS, kinetic and energy. So you gotta obviously use energy weapons to take out shields more effectively. And then kinetic weapons would be better. So a coil gun looks like it's balanced. It has great range. Um, it looks like it uses probably the most energy, right? Yeah, so the energy is the bottom uh, button right, our option. Then there's the blaster, which is really good in terms of energy, but not so good uh, kinetic. It has much lower range, but uses much less uh, energy. And finally, the railgun, that, that, that weapon that I was charging up, and it has amazing range, balanced kinetic and energy. It's more like your sniper, but uh, in this game, it's only good, I think, against like bigger targets like bigger ships so we have a pulse later let's let's take that and then we'll look at our inventory so th here we go so if we equip this pulse laser let's see oh that's a coil gun that's totally different uh let's see left alt change compare let's, let's see it's a totally different gun so let's maybe switch out this for this and let's see so we have pulse laser. That's the pulse laser. That's the blaster. And that's my favorite, uh, the coil gun. Okay. So let's take a look. So part of this game is about exploring, which I absolutely love. And, oh, excuse that. Oh, what's this? Deactivated, oh, there's a bad guy in here. Uh, your health is on the right hand side. I believe red is your um, just your health in general. The yellow should be your hull, and blue is your shields. So here's an outlaw uh, drone that's deactivated. We can override it, and now it's ours. Containers to loot, more credits, and an energy core, which I believe is exactly the same as ours. We'll take a look at that in a second. And here's some diluted Osnil, which is basically selling stuff and more homing launchers. Okay, so uh, let's take a look if there's anything else inside of here. Actually, let's compare the energy core. It's exactly the same energy core, so we don't need to replace it. Okay, let's see. That thing, Fardom Crystal's far away. Energy Glyph's far away. Oh, there's some scrap metal nearby. And there's something down there. Okay, so let's go back this way, see if we can find that scrap metal. The far, 
the far left, if, if you didn't notice, the far left, uh, I guess, tracker in blue, that's that, that's your boost. While the one in white, that is your uh, energy that you're using up during combat. So there will be shadow creatures, at least in the game, where you can grab them. And then if you find the other shadow creature, which is I think over there, it'll give you a, a special, special item. So let's grab it and see whether we can uh, get there in time. But it's timed, like, you can't, you can't, uh, what's it called? Oh, the creature returned. I took too long. Let's see, maybe if I grab it, this, uh, I'm too lazy. I don't care about it. But if you bring the creature back to its friend, then you'll get, uh, uh, an item usually. Okay, I'm getting tired of this area. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do a jump now. Okay, so now let's uh, go to the unknown. So there's, you can go to different locations depending on which way you aim. But we're going to go to the um, near sun. And then we can just watch this or we can just hold R to skip. Okay, and we can turn off our cruise drives whenever we want. Oh, there's a bad guy close by. There's Outlaw Scout. We can snipe this guy before he can get to us. Oh no, I ran out of energy. Oh. There, we got him. Oh, something's back here. Okay, there's a drone gone. Oh, this is not the place you want to be. Let's get away from this. Okay, so I, I use my EMP thing because there's too many guys around me. Going backwards now, flying backwards. I turned on my um, thing to do more damage. Where's that base? Oh, there's another drone. Far away though. There's something here. Scientists. Here's some scientists. Perfect, you may be exactly what we're looking for. Don't jump the gun. First you need to tell me what this is all about. We are here to research this fantastic specimen of a sun. Alas, our remote solar panels went offline. Would you mind readjusting them for us? We still got budget for a whole assistance position. Quite a sum, actually. Okay, so as you can see, the game's going to have some quests for you to do. So we have to align some, some solar panels, and those blue targets will be it. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, there's some... Uh, oh, here's something. There's little, like, little, little secrets here. There's a mine launcher. Let's pick up. And there's a beam laser. Ooh, this is my favorite weapon in the game. Because I'm not very accurate with, with any projectiles. So let's just take a look at what we picked up. We picked up a beam laser. And uh, let's see, we were using the coil gun, which wasn't too bad. Uh, let's switch out to the beam uh, with the blaster. Uh, we got mine launcher, which is a technically a better one. And uh, homing launcher, we'll replace since we're running out of uh, missiles. I forgot how to switch my secondary weapons, but I almost never use mines. Okay, so now we still have to align- oh, there's the- here, let me see if I can show off the beam. As you can see, that's how fast it was. It, it is to kill with the beam laser. Let's see, where is that last solar panel? Right there. So 
So we have to align three of these. Oh, and here, as you can see, are some more uh, drones for us to uh, add to the team. There we go. Now I forgot what. Oh, and here's the uh, solar panel. There we go. There's one. Oop, I keep hitting the wall. Let's see. Where's the next one? There's one over there. And there's one over here. We use our cruise drives. Okay. Oh, better watch out. There's this. Let's see. There we go. And there's a ship. And there's more credits. Let's zoom out. As you can see, there are some explosive barrels around here. Okay. Let's head towards the last objective pod. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's something nearby. Or is that the same thing I found? Okay. So it's time for my paycheck. Thank you for your effort. Unfortunately, we just realized that this sun is rubbish. I think they'll still pay me though. As you can see, my drones are attacking. There he is. That's why I like the beam weapon. Beam weapon I'm so accurate with. Okay, that's great. Oh yeah, this is where I, where I started. One down. Missiles tracking me. There we go. Level up. Nice. Oh. Oh no. What? Oh, that turret. Ooh, just missed me. Okay, got some cooling units right here. What was that? Ooh, power unit HX. Oh, there's something. Whoa. Whoa. See that missile? Just missed me. Love that though. And if you look at those blinky area, that's um, some space mines it looks like. But uh, let's take a look at our inventory, see what we just picked up. We picked up something. Oh, that's nothing. Hopefully this will be like some sort of crafting uh, material in the future. Okay, so there should be some, there we go, some containers over here. And it has some more lithium crystals and we got some energy core. Okay, should be not some more containers around here. Let's see, right over there, they're close by. So this is a friendly station. You can attack them and get some resources. All those uh, bulbs or orbs over there are explosives. So let's go here and we're going to dock. And this is where you can uh, repair. So we're going to pay some money to repair. Your money's in the top right over here. Your experience is over here. And then we're going to go to this screen over here, which allows us to sell. Um, I'm going to sell all of this stuff here. Should be able to double click on it. No. Right click, right click. Um, I'll keep the rail gun. Energy core is the same. That jump core is worth quite a bit. Mine launchers, sell that. Sensors, the same. Energy core, the same. And uh, also the blaster, though. I'm not too, too keen on that. And then management, once again, not available. You can take a look at the map. Right now, um, as you can see, for demo, this is pretty good. I, I'm really happy with this demo. I thought it'd be like one mission and then you're done. You you, you waste, you know, five to ten gigs downloading a game and, and you get like only one mission. But this is like uh, at least four or five different areas. The thing is, once you're done, like the enemies don't really respawn. So it's 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 a demo in, in that sense. So there are some other areas here. We're in the Sato area or Tycho. Anyways, so actually I didn't. So that was the map, that was missions. We don't have any missions right now. Let's see. 
maybe scattergun might be better. Nope. Oh. Hey, look at that. There's a... Uh oh. I think I just... Ooh, that's actually a pretty good cut, this guy gun. If I had energy. I just opened up a hole there, too. So let's orient ourselves a little bit better. And I think I saw a hole there. So there's an iron deposit, which is great. Don't really care about that too much. And there's a, a, a better, another beam laser. And look at this, an intuitive coil gun. So that's like the rarity. Okay. That's not hitting it. Okay, so that is Everspace 2, guys. That's uh, just, just a demo, and it's free. Might as well try it if, if you like it. Uh, quite a lot of fun, and I'm really excited to see uh, what the finished product's going to be. Uh, we're looking at early access in December of this year, and uh, I will absolutely be getting this game, because uh, this looks like more my type of game. Uh, a little bit less roguelite, uh, more uh, a space sim RPG. So thanks for joining me today. Check out the rest of my channel for other videos on video games, board games, and other fun things. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.